Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add security to your Apache web folders in order to prevent people uh, browsing private directories. Now, I'm in a virtual machine here using Ubuntu. So, what we're going to do, this uh, machine already has Apache installed. If your machine don't, doesn't have Apache installed, you need to do sudo at get install Apache like that. Uh, sorry, Apache 2. Okay, it's already installed, you can see here. Already select already the newest version. So clear the stream, control L. You need to navigate to your default uh, index folder where the holding page is kept. CD var www. Clear the screen, do a list. So we have indexed HTML here. So if I do gedit index HTML, we'll see it's a basic web page. And if we navigate to that to local host, this is our local host index page index HTML located at var www. Okay. We now want to create a private subdirectory which we're going to protect with HT access files. So do uh, clear the screen, control L clears the screen, sudo make directory, make dir, private. Okay, clear the screen, do a listing. We now see there's a directory called private. Uh, navigate to that directory <clears throat> and we want to copy the file, the index.html from the www. The root of the server to this directory so i do sudo copy cp dot dot slash that means the previous directory that means copy something from upper directory indexed html and then dot slash that means copy it here so what you're doing is that is telling it sudo do this as a super user with root privileges copy cp um, the index.html which is located at the folder above which you prefix with dot dot slash that means the folder above and dot slash means put it here so clear the screen we'll now see it's also here <coughs> excuse me now for this tutorial we want to modify this index.html in the private directory to reflect the fact that we're in a private directory so sudo gedit index.html now I'm going to change this here private oops no let's have, let's have a hash there make it stand out a bit more save that control s or save Close. Ignore all the garbage on, garbage on the screen. I was being lazy. I just I, I accessed gedit from the terminal. Okay, so now if we go to localhost slash private, you will see private index page index HTML located at var www private. Now that means anyone can access this page. We don't want that. We want to protect it. So what we do is this. We create a file called htaccess.htaccess. It's a hidden file. Now, htaccess contains the path, it points to a password file called .htpasswd or htpassword, which contains a cryptic password which prevents just anyone getting into your folder. Let me exit full screen. Okay. So, so copy that. So now I'm there. Now then, we're going to create a file, a file in the private directory. sudo gedit dot ht access. Now then, in this file, we're going to populate it with these fields. This is just a, a dummy uh, placeholder. We want to 
point it to slash etc slash Apache 2 slash and then the name of the password file which is dot ht passwd auth group file can be left as slash dev slash null auth name you can call this whatever you want um, I'm gonna call it hello secure user this basically this auth name field um, gives the box that pops up and asks the username and password gives that a title auth type basic will require a valid user you can now save that And do ls minus a. Sorry, clear the screen, a bit of a mess. ls minus a. You can now see HT access is there. So if I do sudo gedit dot ht access, you can now see we've created the HT access file and given it an absolute path um, to the HT password file. Now, an absolute path versus a, rel a relative path. An absolute path means you type in the full file system path um, where your HT password file is located, <coughs> including the file name .ht password. So you need, to, in my case, I'm going to put the password file in etc. Apache 2, which is not browsable by public or private um, from the web. So yeah, you always auth user file means look here and find your password file and authenticate the user trying to log in against this password file located at this path here. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that done, close that. So now we need to go to CD, etc. Apache 2. Let's go back to full screen, shall we? Now then, once we attach you to, we go to, we do sudo ht password minus cnd, that's to do with encryption, and then the name of the file you want to create, dot ht password, and the name of the user you want to create a login for, Matt in my case. New password, my password will be password, p-a-s-s-w-o-r-d. It does not echo locally on the screen, so you're typing blind, so be careful. P A S S W O R D. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So we've now got a password added for the user Matt. And we now do ls minus a. You'll now see here the ht password file, which we pointed to from the ht access file, is there in etc. Apache 2 directory. So if I do sudo gedit dot ht password, you'll see it has the username Matt and the encrypted version of the password, password which I set. The password is password. That's the encrypted version, which can't be reversed, apparently. So now what we do is test it out. We need to restart the Apache server. sudo service Apache 2 restart. Restarting Apache 2. Go to the private directory, refresh it. Uh, didn't work. Do you want to know why? Because I forgot to allow overriding of security features. So what we need to do next that was actually a mistake in the tutorial, but that actually didn't demonstrate how to get this working. If you don't, if you don't get it working, this is probably what you've done wrong. You need now need to go to. Let's go back to the home directory. So navigate to CD. You go to CD, etc. Apache two. Sites available. Okay. And there you see a file called default sudo gedit default. This file controls the Apache default site which we're running here. This one here, this it controls the default site. 
So what we do, you see um, this top section here, do not touch this. This is the default for the root of the site. You'll see a uh, section here, I can shift that down a bit, called directory var www, and you copy this section, paste it there, let's tab that in a bit because it's a bit messy. Now then, I'm going to put in the extra folder, the subdirectory of var www called private, not public, private, I need to type public now, okay, and allow overrides auth config config this is basically telling apache server if you find ht access files in this directory var www private um, follow the directives and authenticate the user against the stored password the encrypted password and once it's authenticated let them in before it was none so that means you couldn't override this it would let you in regardless config let me just make sure i've got this right um yeah auth config so basically that means this is this bit here we're looking at this uh section here that means yeah let the person in who's authenticating themselves if the username and password credentials match save that file close that clear the mess on the screen restart apache server sudo service apache to restart now then we're at private again now it asks for a username and a password that P A S S W O R D, and we're in. You don't want to remember the password in Firefox or any browser. Um, if I refresh the page, it's remembered me for the meantime. If I go to Tools, Clear Private Browser, no, sorry, wrong option. Tools, Clear Recent History, and select the drop down here. So, and deselect everything apart from Active Logins, Clear Now. Now, if I refresh, I have to log in again. There you go. So that's how you do HT password protection of folders. Now, finally, you can add multiple users to these uh, these files, HT password protection of files. I'll detail that in a further tutorial later on. Um, and you can actually create um, HT access files for separate directories on the on the on the www tree. So if I go to cd www, clear the screen. Um, so look, if I go here, if I go to tools, clear recent history, active logins, clear now. If I go back a directory, that's not protected. If I go back to private, refresh it, it is protected. So for example, in here, there is no .ht access file to protect the directory. If I go to private, there is an HT access file, as you can see there. We'll do that again. We'll go get .ht access. You can see there is a uh, file there to protect the directory. So there you go, guys. I hope that's helped to protect your Apache directories. God bless you all. See you soon. Bye.